Good morning. It's the 18th of October, the 20th Sunday of Pentecost, and special because you're here with us, and special in some other ways as well. Tomorrow I'll be on a plane. Yes, I'm flying, flying to a Lutheran monastery where the prior is Lutheran, there is at least an Anglican there, a Roman Catholic, and a bunch of us Society of Holy Trinity types. For today, come on in with me, please. And a reminder for you, St. Francis folk and friends, we're coming up on All Saints Sunday. Make sure I have gotten the names of people you want remembered, and those names are read during the distribution of communion. But that's some weeks from now. You have time. For today, come with me to the altar, please. I had planned for this prayer to be used last week because it is marked in the For All the Saints breviary for last week. But as you may remember, there was that prayer reflection from Bishop Charleston that somehow seemed to me to be right then, but I'm not going to give up this prayer by Soren Kierkegaard, 1813, 1855. Father in heaven, well do we know that thou art everywhere present, and that should anyone at this moment call upon thee from a sick bed, or one in great need upon the ocean cry out to thee, or one in still greater need in sin, that thou art near to hear them. But thou art also near in thy house, where thy community is gathered together, some perhaps flying from heavy thoughts or followed by heavy thoughts, but some too coming from a quiet daily life of contentment, and some perhaps with this satisfied longing hidden in a thankful heart enveloped in joyous thoughts, and yet all drawn by the desire to seek God, the friend of the thankful and blessed trust, consolation of the weak and strengthening communion, refuge of the anxious in secret comfort, confidence of the afflicted as thou dost count their tears, last comfort of the dying as thou dost receive their souls. So let thyself be found also in this hour. Thou who art the Father of all, let thyself be found with a good gift for everyone who needs it, that the happy may find courage to rejoice at thy good gifts, that the sorrowful may find courage to accept thy perfect gifts. For to us there is a difference in these things, the difference of joy and of sorrow, but for thee, O Lord, there is no difference in these things. Everything that comes from thee is a good and perfect gift. Amen. <laughs> 